Right, we're here with Heartstopper episode 7. It's uh, It's been a while since I've watched the last one, it feels like. Um, I can't really remember what went on exactly, but I do know, I think we left off on a happy ending. Well, not a happy ending, like, but a happy note at the end of the episode, which is uh, nice compared to most TV shows. We don't usually leave episodes on a happy note, do we? <laughs> um, There's always something going wrong, but... Here we are. I don't know what's going to happen in these last two episodes. Because um, it's it's not like a, a drama. It's not like... I don't know. So we're just going to watch and find out. Going somewhere? Yes. Jesus, Tori. What? How did you just appear out of nowhere? Nick's invite me around to the cinema with his friends. Oh, God. What Harry in that? I'm happy for you. You've liked him for ages. So, I was wondering... If you wanted to come over, just to hang out. Excuse me? Oh, this is before. Okay. <laughs> if any of those boys says anything, does anything nasty. You tell me and I'll knock their teeth out. They all probably think I'm this, like, gay nerd. But you are. Well, you kind of are a gay nerd. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, rugby. Oh, I look, Nick and his best mate. <laughs> Wait, why are you oh. bring him? I hope Nick kicks the shit out of this boy. Why can't any of you ever bring a girl with you? Let's get popcorn. Why do you never bring a girl with you? Nah, Nick. Come on, man, Nick. Nick, you gotta dodge these fuck. Char. Char. <laughs> yeah, sure for Charizard. Say it again. No, it's pretty terrible. <laughs> I like it. No, it's you cute. can't like that. Stop it. No, I'm never calling you it again. <laughs> it's actually awful, Char. No. <laughs> so, Charlie Spring, quick question. What's it like being gay? Well, I'm a lot happier than you with that fucking haircut. Do you like musicals? Harry, can you just piss off, please? Yes. And what about Harry Styles? He's pretty sexy. He is pretty sexy. What about Nick? You think he's hot? Are you joking? Nick's not even my type. Just stop. Come on, fucking swing. Swing! Ooh. <laughs> The fuck do you want? I told you this guy was a fuck psychopath. I saw you holding hands with him. And? Are you going out with him then? No. But you are getting with him. No. Don't lie. Do you? If anyone would ever want to go out with someone as desperate as you, you actually thought I liked you. You were just there like some tragic loser with barely any friends who ate lunch alone every day and let bullies walk all over you. I never liked you. Oh, oh, yes, Nick. Yes! And then, what's your problem with Charlie? <laughs> he doesn't exactly fit in with us, does he? <laughs> you don't let him. Rugby. None of us are being homophobic. Oh, just shut up, Harry! Someone really needs to learn to take a joke. No, but you weren't joking, though, were you? You just saw the perfect opportunity to make someone feel miserable and humiliated, as usual. Come on. Come on, Nick. Sick little fag. Yes! Again, again, Nick! Oh. Come on, Nick. You're the bigger one, right? You fucking take this guy. But the other guy's worse, right? Harry was saying some really nasty stuff about Charlie. Sweetheart, you know fighting's not the answer. Don't listen to that, Nick. I know I'm attractive, mate. There's no need to stare. What happened to you? No, you came off worse. You clearly didn't get hugged much as a child, but if you're craving human contact that badly, you could just say so. Tao. Oh my god, Tao, get off fucking Reddit. Jesus Christ. You wanna fight? <clears throat> Are you mad? Be mad and punched him. Come on, Charlie, it's, it's romantic yeah. and shit. <laughs> I promise I'm used to people saying stuff about me, but you shouldn't have to be. I don't even want to be friends with those people anymore. I don't expect you to dump your friends for me, but they're dickheads. I think it was my fault. What was Harry picking on me and Charlie? I just kept thinking about how bad it was for Charlie last year. I feel like I'm always offloading my problems onto you. I mean, I did the same thing to you in my last term at Trim, so... I'm not surprised Nick started a fight with him. If Harry's being a dick to Charlie, of course. Is there something actually going on between Nick and Charlie? <laughs> my man is oblivious. Yeah. They're going out. But why did no one tell me? Because you're a bit of an ass about it, let's be honest. Oh, you're not right. That don't don't you hit that send button? Yes, that's a good one. Send that. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, make sure you leave the 
bathroom door open a tad, okay? Uh, <laughs> come on, Ma. <laughs> Is it a potato? No. It's supposed to be a shoe. Oh. oh. Look. You were a dick the whole time. Of course they didn't want to tell you. I'm sorry. Sorry about earlier. I know it's not your fault he hasn't told me. Charlie does want to tell you. I think I know why he hasn't. And obviously he cares more about Nick's feelings than mine. Once you get into a relationship, friendships don't matter anymore. Or maybe he just thinks you'll force Nick to watch Donny Darko like you did with us. Shut up! It's a good movie! It's just <laughs> complicated. It was decent. I could barely remember it, but I, th I think I liked it. <laughs> Go to the library. Just pretend to read a book through your lunch. I don't know if you can, but. Not in the mood for that fight, then. <laughs> Only if it's in the form of a board game or a cake eating contest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> Wait, lads, look at it. <laughs> Come on. I hate you! Murder's okay. <laughs> ha! Oh, you might want to book it. I've been making your life really difficult. So I was thinking. Stop that line of thought. Maybe it would be better if. It exactly seems like a fight. There we go. <laughs> Got a grip beat down on the Harry. Stop. Form a fest. Jesus Christ. Yeah, slam him. Slam him. Why didn't you tell me about you and Nick? What? I thought we were friends, but I guess you just forgot about me. Um, everything's falling apart in Charlie. Man's taking a blame for everything. Okay, um, I mean... Tao spent the entire first half of the season being a complete dick about Nick and Charlie, so I completely understand why uh, Charlie didn't want to tell him anything. Um, but obviously Tao's not going to see that, is he? So... Yeah, he's feeling pretty pissed off. And now, Nick's feeling guilty about Charlie. And now, Tao's just went and lapped the blame on Nick as well. So he's going to he's gonna have all this going on in his head that he's the root of all these problems. Um, God, I seriously hope nothing really bad happens next episode. I guess we'll just have to find out.